What is going on ladies and gentlemen, Zach back here with 570 Fishing. And before we get this video started, I want to ask you guys what you want to see from me. So laying here, I have a few different types of baits. Um, I'll go through them right now quick. I have the Beast Coast Miyagi Swimmer right here. I have the Jackal Scissor Comb. Interesting little creature bait. Or I have all kinds of topwaters that I could use, some crazy topwater lures. So I have, uh, I think this is the Savage Gear Duck. I'm not positive. And this is the Spro BBZ1 Rat. So I want you guys to comment below either A for the big swim bait here, the Miyagi Swimmer swim bait, B for the Scissor Comb creature bait, or C for the duck, and that's just what you guys want me to fish in the next video. Alright, so I just wanted to break down a little bit what I was using the past few days that I went out fishing. Um, you guys have been seeing all kinds of videos from the lake that I go to all the time, kayak fishing, and I just wanted to break down my setup, what I'm using, trailers, jigs, all that stuff. The thing that I probably had the most bites on was definitely the black and blue jig. Now this jig right here, this is a Bait Buffet DPSJ jig. So it's the DP jig, but it's the swim jig version. Um, that thing has been doing really well. And this black and blue color, there's some purple and black and blue in it. Awesome color for this lake. And on that actually, for the crawl bait that I've been using, I've been using the Rage Tail um, Rage Crawl in the summer crawl pattern. So you pretty much got the green summer crawl plastic with the black and blue jig, and that has been pretty much what I've been getting most of my bites on there. Now that is not the only bait that I've been catching a lot of fish on there. I've also been fishing uh, the ribbon tail worm on a shaky head. Now this is the Bass Pro 8th ounce shaky head, but it's a 4 out hook, so it's a lot bigger. So you might think that it doesn't weigh that much, but you can actually cast it on a medium heavy or even an extra heavy setup like I'm using. Uh, and pretty much any ribbon tail. Uh, I've been using the Zoom Old Monster 12 inch also. The Man's Jelly Worm, the 12 inch worm. But any big worm really has been working out there at the lake. So lastly, I wanted to go into the setup that I was using. So you guys have seen this before. Uh, I just unboxed it. If you haven't seen that, I'll link the video down below. Um, this is the favorite absolute. Now this is the select series rod. It's a wonderful rod um, Very light. This is the 60. I think it's $60 rod that they have in their line and this rod is Super light and super sensitive for $60. Awesome. Awesome fishing rod. Now. This is the 73 extra heavy um, The lower weight is one half to two ounces and you can cast things that are three-eighths even less on this thing um, so what I have on that Shimano Corrado 200i, that's my go-to, and 20 pound fluorocarbon. So it's, it's a pretty heavy setup, but realistically in the grass that I'm fishing there at that lake that you guys have seen, it really, it's a, it's a perfect match. Black and blue jigs, um, and these big ribbon tail worms, tell you what. Summertime fishing, it's really tough. You gotta really key in on different parts of the lake. Um, go deep, find weed edges, grass edges, really anywhere, even frog on top. I haven't tried that lately because it hasn't really worked when I tried it, but really anything. So that is pretty much it with this video. Like I said in the beginning of the video, let me know what you guys wanna see, either A, the swim bait, B, the scissor comb, or C, the duck or the rat, whichever one. Just comment below and Thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like and make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hope you guys enjoyed this. This was kind of like a recap of what I've been catching the fish on as of the past few weeks. So we'll see you next time. Zach out.